And now, the general weather around Alaska. Hello everyone and welcome to Alaska Weather. I'm meteorologist Peter Chan coming to you from the National Weather Service in Alaska region on this Saturday, January 10th, 2026. And we continue to have active weather across a good portion of the state of Alaska. There's a high avalanche danger in areas of the northern panhandle around Juneau Douglas and up around and above Haines. Also in south central areas in the Chugach Mountains, uh, eastern Kenai Mountains, we'll highlight that in a moment. We have a couple more windy wet fronts moving up into the Panhandle Sunday and again Tuesday. So that's going to bring some additional moderate to heavy rainfall in lower elevations, which could cause increased snow melt runoff and also lend toward uh, increasing the avalanche threat as well. Also, we have more accumulating snow that will be moving through south central uh, this Saturday evening. Saturday night into Sunday and crossing over the Alaska range and getting areas of the interior as well, including places like Fairbanks and Tanana. And then blowing snow, windy and turning colder along the west coast and into the interior uh, as we go through the course of Sunday and especially early next week. Uh, we do have some blizzard warnings there along the Bering Strait due to some stronger winds and that colder air that will be uh, heading southward. Denali, Entrance to the park there, snow and ice fog, 12 degrees this Saturday afternoon. In areas of the park, we'll see one to two feet of snowfall up along the higher terrain of Denali Park in the Alaska Range. There are blizzard warnings in effect uh, into Sunday uh, evening. Talkeetna in the uh, upper Susitna Valley, snow and ice fog, 14 degrees. Talkeetna could easily receive over a foot of snow with this particular system. And then uh, Skagway had initially started with some snow but is seeing milder temperatures and some rain this Saturday afternoon at 43 degrees but if you go up uh, the Klondike Highway there to White Pass uh, they're anticipating uh, another foot of heavy snow here uh, this Saturday evening uh, through Sunday morning. Klawak in the far southern panhandle overcast skies with showers in vicinity 48 degrees. Klawak was 54 yesterday. They could still be up near 50 this Saturday afternoon and again back up around or just over 50 at Klawak on Sunday afternoon. So we've had a coronal mass ejection arrive from the sun. It arrived this Saturday afternoon. It's triggering a G1, G2 geomagnetic storm is currently underway. They are seeing aurora uh, at least over northern Europe, uh, Greenland into the eastern U.S as of this recording. So it's very likely if this geomagnetic storm persists into this Saturday night and Sunday morning, we'll have enhanced aurora visible in places where skies are clear here in Alaska. Moon phase, we're at the last quarter moon of the full, uh, the wolf moon of January, which was uh, at full phase about a, a weekend ago. Now, uh, with the Alaska Avalanche Information Center, these are the areas that are especially higher uh, avalanche danger around uh, downtown uh, Juneau and Douglas area and then up around and above Haines up toward Chilkat. And then we also have an area out here, moderate to high danger around Valdez, Thompson Pass, and then up here along the uh, Chugach Eastern Kenai Mountains that would include Moose Pass, Summit Lake, and especially Turnigan Pass and the mountains there around Girdwood. So just given the heavier snowfall we've experienced and then additional snowfall making for unstable and dangerous avalanche conditions there in the uh, Kenai and then here in the northern panhandle it's the combination of recent heavy snowfall since the holidays with additional snow on top of that and now some milder temperatures with the forecast indicating the potential for some additional rainfall especially there in sea level in the northern panhandle coming up and as a result we have these flood watches in yellow that are still in effect for the much of the panhandle we have a winter storm warning for White Pass. Another foot of snow could fall this Saturday late afternoon into the day on Sunday up there. Uh, Juneau area has seen some rain and again we have higher avalanche danger there the downtown area where you have those avalanche chutes as well as around Douglas. Uh, another round of rain, another uh, windy wet front is going to be pulling northward Sunday and another one again on Tuesday. So we will likely see reconfiguration of these watches and any potential future advisories or warnings coming up here as we go into Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. As of now, Saturday afternoon, we have a 
flood advisory for the Ward Lake area near Ketchikan and then uh, flood advisory for downtown areas of Juneau and Douglas due to uh, heavy snowmelt runoff that they're experiencing quite a bit of water uh, there on some of the roads along with slushy snow and ice. Now here across South Central, the winter storm warning that includes Seward and the Eastern Kenai will be allowed to expire later this Saturday evening, but more snow is pulling over uh, into the Anchorage Bowl and then coming up through the Matsu Valley. And as that moisture rides northward, that's overspreading now the Alaska Range as well. Anchorage area could easily pick up anywhere from three to eight inches of snow tonight into the day Sunday and heavier amounts a foot of snow could fall up toward Talkeetna and as we uh, take a look at uh, the central interior we have blizzard warnings along the spine of the Alaska range winter storm warnings north side of the Alaska range on up through Lake Minchumina Fairbanks Gobbler's Knob on over toward Tanana. several inches of snow will be falling in this region tonight and during the day on Sunday we have a cold weather advisory for Anatovic and Adigan passes due to sub-zero temperatures and wind chills. We have strong northeast to north winds through the Bering Strait that will continue into Sunday afternoon. Uh, so that blowing snow could produce near blizzard conditions at times here around Wales and Shishmaref. And then uh, Nome area into the interior of the Seward Peninsula winter weather advisory for blowing snow. And then the area in blue, just in, we're going to see a trend towards some colder sub-zero temperatures across the west coast into the interior as we go into early next week. So we've had another round of moisture pull northward across the panhandle. Here comes the next one down here in the North Pacific. Here's a plume of moisture coming up across uh, Prince William Sound, the Copper River Basin, and the Alaska Range that's helping to feed that next system. And as a result, we have a low pressure here in the western gulf and the moisture is, depending on where this low goes if it ends up into prince western prince william sound that could lend toward more snow in the anchorage area if it kind of gets it, it's interesting watching these lows kind of they tend to get lost the weaker lows crossing the kenai mountains a little harder to detect so depending how they emerge and where the snow band set up makes all the difference who gets the heavier snow and who doesn't then along the panhandle we've had this Occluded front pull inland along the inner channels and that's allowed for warmer temperatures and rain. Precipitation not as heavy but another surge of moisture coming up from the south that will impact the panhandle on Sunday. With yet another round of moisture, in fact a stronger system, coming up for Tuesday. So here we have the cold air on the west side of the state. Brisk northeast to north winds through the Bering Strait all the way down, uh, spreading out across the Pribilovs and in through the Aleutians. Cold northeast winds with scattered snow showers and snow squalls. Sunday, the low, weak low remains there somewhere along the eastern Kenai, western Prince William Sound with the snow that spread it inland and northward across the interior, including Fairbanks up along the Yukon River. And then here comes another push of moisture and another front. The winds will be increasing here, Dixon entrance and the southern panhandle as we go through Sunday uh, afternoon into Sunday night. And then on Monday, we have that system kind of pull back to the north and west and weaken. But then here's the hints of the next system coming up for Tuesday. Cold air will make inroads when you have low pressure over the Gulf and north-northeast flow on the backside of it from the mainland and along the west coast. That allows the cold air to penetrate further south down along the Alaska Peninsula and the Aleutian chain. And here comes a 965 low with another surge of moisture and another windy moist front coming up into the panhandle for Tuesday. So there will likely be some sort of extension of flood watches and or advisories and warnings depending on how this exactly sets up. So be aware of that. Some of that moisture will try to pull back uh, maybe a bit toward the north and west. But otherwise, uh, we expect the interior along the Yukon, Kuskokwim rivers, areas of the west coast to have below normal temperatures in the 20s, even 30s below. So it'll be quite cold and with any breezy conditions, the wind chills will be colder than that. So lows tonight, we're going to see temperatures stay around or above 40, Sitka down through Prince of Wales Island, Ketchikan, even a little above freezing at Skagway and Juneau. But snow, heavier snow still coming down up there at White and Chilkoot Passes.
Back here through the Copper River Basin, pocket of colder air, single digits, 10 above. Talkeetna will be getting in on periods of moderate to locally heavy snow tonight. Also across the Alaska Range and on up through Fairbanks, Nanana, toward Tanana. Those areas there getting in on some moderate to at times heavier snowfall tonight. Temperatures across the North Slope. 25 to 35 below zero. Those are the air temperatures. And as you can see, extending down into the southwest interior, especially along and west of the Alaska Range, temperatures in the teens to near 30 below. And then temperatures Sunday afternoon, warmest readings could hit 50, low 50s. Prince of Wales Island at Craig and Klawak uh, should manage to get up near 40 at Juneau. And then uh, a little milder air pulling back to the west there could get temperature up to maybe 34 at uh, Valdez. And as we look further north and west, the cold air remains. Arctic coast, north slope, all across the western interior and the west coast. And for Monday morning, cold temperatures across much of the mainland along and north and west of the Alaska Range. Widespread temperatures in the 20s and 30s below. There could be a few 40 degree below readings just where you have the normal cold spots and temperatures will be turning colder again uh, down into the Matsu Valley, Western Kenai Peninsula. Some temperatures could get back below zero there. Whereas temperatures still stay around or above 40, Sitka down through the Southern Panhandle highs. Monday afternoon could again be back up around or just above 50 degrees around Klawak and Craig. Uh, as we look back to the north and west, the cold air well entrenched over much of the central, northern, western, and southwest mainland with high temperatures Monday afternoon in the 20 to 30 below range. And we find the cold temperatures even extending down below freezing here uh, along the eastern and into the central Aleutians because they've had this cold northeasterly flow across the Aleutians. So here's the temperature outlook as we get just past mid-month, January 16th through the 20th. Above normal temperatures still anticipated over much of the Panhandle and along uh, the Alcan border of the southeast mainland. But as you get to the west side of the state, below normal temperatures likely. Chukchi Sea Coast, Seward Peninsula down through the YK Deltas into the Alaska Peninsula and the central eastern Aleutians. And again, this, as I was saying the other day, this simply implies low pressure coming up into the Gulf, moisture coming up from the North Pacific into the Gulf is going to be fed northward along this temperature boundary and gradient. And so areas of the Panhandle are leaning more toward rain, especially there at sea level. Whereas in the west where there's colder air, that allows for the potential for some periods of moderate to heavier snow, south central up into the interior, central interior. And that's what we'd expect, uh, precipitation outlook, maybe a little below normal, the southern central panhandle, but we expect above normal precipitation, Copper River Basin, central eastern Alaska range, including Fairbanks, Tanana, on up through Bettles, and uh, Anatuvik, Attigan passes all the way up through, say, New Exit, Dead Horse, uh, those areas here have stand the best chance uh, to see above normal snowfall there January 16th through the 20th.